Get to the trail. The, um, yeah. yeah, I was, uh, I was going to talk to you guys if you wanted to go out riding tomorrow. I haven't looked at the weather. I was going to wait to talk to you guys today to see if you wanted to go out for a ride tomorrow. Wendy said she would go for a ride tomorrow. I don't know how long that she wants to ride, but. But, I'm trying to like parallel run some errands. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know think I have anything on the schedule for tomorrow, so the time won't matter. What are you gonna go with to the skyway with this one? Uh I mean that was like interesting to like explore, but I kinda feel like we explored it and like I'm not really. Huh? I mean, everything's always closed. I don't know. I like I said. I think it was interesting to do once, but I don't see a lot of reason to. You have a whole lane, dude. Try gas. I should have I should have read out his number. What? I should have read out his his number. I didn't think about it. Why did he honk at us? I guess he wanted to go faster. I mean, like, just go around us, dude. It's not rocket science. It's not like we're on the interstate, you know? Huh? Oh, you think we got it? Actually, let's go this way since the light's red. Here at uh, where it's blinking, we'll turn left. Where is Sean meeting us again? Uh, Lake Street Bridge. I don't actually know which side, but we can figure that out when we get there. It's not like it's the world's largest bridge or anything. Actually applied to anything. <clears throat> I uh, found out the other day that uh, Red Hat has an office here, so uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start um, sort of zoning in on that because, like, I've wanted to work for them for years. So, um, but like, most of their like remote positions required like. A lot of them required like 10 years of sales experience or like lots of years of development experience. So I didn't really feel like yeah. remote. And I don't know if they've like embraced remote more recently. I like was talking to a guy that I, I don't know him well, but I've known him for years. Um, and uh, you know, I was like, hey, I just found out there's an office in Minneapolis. And he was like, well, there's a lot of remote positions too. And like, I didn't say, yeah, I've looked at those in the past, but, um, so I should probably still apply to like Wells Fargo and stuff since I've gotten some stuff done, but 
that's not really my uh my focus. Yeah, the um apparently the Red Hat office is just across the river. I'm not sure where exactly, but and then they have they have yeah that well they have this meetup that uh I knew this meetup existed, but I found out yesterday, I think it was yesterday, the meetups actually it run in the building where I work. Could have gone. Dude. What was that? Some, I know some of the Nagios people went to Red Hat 18. Uh, well, this um, this is actually an Ansible meetup, but uh, was it uh, was it like the DevOps group that hosted it, or was it? Uh, I don't know. Over in front, Paul and some other guy you don't know came from Nagios. They went to this Red Hat 8 meetup to like switch that Nagios can monitor some shitty like. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this off.